Welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to write equations for parallel lines. So let's remind ourselves what are parallel lines. If two lines do not intersect with each other, then they are said to be parallel lines. So let's call the upper line line one and let's call the lower line line two. These two lines do not intersect with each other because they share the same slope. And this is the property that we're going to be using throughout the lesson. Parallel lines share the same slope. Let's take a look at some examples. So let's understand the situation here. We want to write an equation of a line that is parallel to the line 3x plus 2. But in addition, that line needs to pass through the point 2 comma negative 4. So let's, so let's organize this information. If the line that we want needs to be parallel, we know that it needs to have the same slope as the line that we are given. So now we have everything that we need to create this parallel line. Because we have the slope of this new line, which we know that it has to be 3. And then in addition, we have a coordinate point. So we can think about one of the forms that we have to create a line. So now it's just a matter of plugging in this information. M is equivalent to 3, and my coordinate point is 2 comma negative 4. Now the only thing that is needed is to simplify this expression. I do notice that here we have a minus minus, so that's a plus. We can distribute, it becomes 3x. We can distribute, it becomes minus 6. We can take away 4. So now we have that this is equal to 3x minus 10. This equation that we have defined is parallel to the line 3x plus 2. Let's take a look at another example. So let's understand the situation here. We want to write an equation of a line that is parallel to the line y plus 3 equals 1 half x plus 2. And we want that line to pass through the point of 4 comma 5. So let's organize that information. So before we move any further, let's solve for y and write this equation in standard form. So here we have y plus 3 on the left. Once it gets distributed, we got 1 half x. Once it gets distributed, then we got 1. Let's take away 3. So here we have our equation in standard form. y equals 1 half x minus 2. And now let's remember what we want. We want a parallel line. And we want to make sure that it passes through the point of 4 comma 5. But now notice that we have everything that is needed. Because a parallel line should have the same slope as the equation that we are given. So we know that this parallel line should have a slope of 1 half. So let's find our equation. So let's use the point slope form. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And let's just plug in the information that we know. m should be equivalent to 1 half. And the coordinate point, 4 comma 5, will be substituted as y1 and x1. Let's try to simplify our equation. If we distribute, it becomes 1 half x. And if we distribute, it becomes negative 2. Let's add a 5. So now we have our parallel line. y equals 1 half x plus 3. This equation that we have just defined, it's parallel. This equation that we have defined, it's parallel to the line 1 half x minus 2. Welcome. 
If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.